everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to share how you can clean your Cricut mats and extend the life of your mats to prevent you from having to buy new ones all the time. This mat is extremely messy, so I'm excited to show you how to get it clean and sticky again. Please subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you here, and let's get into the video. First, I want to talk about these clear covers that come with your Cricut mats. When I first received my Cricut, I actually threw these away, not knowing that I should keep them. While you aren't using your mat, place these covers on top to prevent particles such as dust and pet hair to build up on them. You can see I added a design using vinyl to my clear covers. This just makes it a little cuter and I always seem to lose these because they are clear so it makes it easier to find them when you're done using your Cricut mat. Remove cut material as soon as you finish your project. I've found that if it's left on for a while, it will be even harder to remove. For paper and cardstock, I like to use my XL scraper to scrape off any leftover material. You can use a lint roller to remove smaller pieces off your mat. I've used this to get glitter off as well. I usually use my lint roller after using glitter cardstock. You can see it gets the glitter off really well. In between washing my mats, I like to use non-alcohol based baby wipes. This is an easy way to clean your mat. You can see here it cleans it really well. With a mat this messy, however, I normally wouldn't use baby wipes because it would just take too long. But if it's something small, it's definitely a good option to clean your mat. Cricut doesn't have a specific way to clean your mats, but I've tried a couple different methods. My favorite way is with warm water, dish soap, and a sponge. Keep in mind this only works for the green, blue, and purple mats. I'll show you what I do with my pink mat toward the end of the video. I place my mat in my sink, then put dish, dish soap on my sponge. I run water over the mat while I lightly scrub the mat. I've tried the awesome spray from the Dollar Tree, but that took the adhesive right off my mat and completely ruined it. Some people swear by that method though, so you could always give it a try, but just a warning, it might take the adhesive off. Let me know if you've used the awesome spray before and if it worked for you. I didn't have quite enough soap at first, so I ended up adding quite a bit more. And look how clean this mat is already looking. When I'm done, I set it on my counter and I like to take a paper towel and lightly dry it off. I let the rest of it just air dry. It will not feel sticky when it's wet. I panicked the first time I did this, but once it dries, it's completely sticky again. Here I'm going to clean one more mat. I also wanted to note some Cricut users use a tacky spray to restick their mat, but I personally do not like to use it. If you use this, make sure you put masking tape over the non-sticky edges of the mats. If the tacky spray gets on these edges, it can gunk up the rollers in your Cricut machine. And if it ruins the machine, that will void Cricut's warranty. If the mat is just in terrible shape, I will end up just throwing it away and buying a new one, but I have been able to extend the life of my mats for a very long time using the techniques in this video. I 
I just wanted you to hear how these mats are sticky again. And also here's how these mats look after being cleaned. You would use the same method for the blue or purple mat. Now I want to talk about the pink fabric grip mat. This adhesive is different from the other mats. You want to avoid touching the mat with your fingers. The oil from your fingers can really break down the adhesive. You also want to avoid using your scraper tool on this as well. It will most likely take the adhesive right off. To avoid touching the mat, I like to use my brayer tool to place material onto the mat. I also like to use my tweezers to take the fabric off of the mat once it's done cutting. If you have loose threads or fabric still on your mat, it's fine to leave it, as you can see with my R on the mat. The rotary blade is very good at going through the fabric that's left on your mat. It's difficult for me to not have a completely clean mat, but that's just how the pink mat, pink mat works. I do have a trick that I would like to show you though. Try placing clear transfer paper sticky side up on your mat. I like the Duck brand contact paper. I'll leave a link in my description box for that. Then place your material on top of the transfer tape. After the Cricut cuts it out, take the fabric off the transfer tape. You'll leave the transfer tape on the mat. Since it'll have cut lines through it, you'll only get a few pieces cut before having to take the transfer tape off the mat and replacing it with a new one. These are all of my favorite tips for cleaning your mats. Let me know how you like to clean yours. Once again, subscribe if you are new to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful.